this was the worst ever traffic stop, the worst ever traffic contact. Yeah, it's, it's way up there. I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying it was a good tra vehicle contact. I had ever seen. Um, and Coming in hot, <laughs> yeah. in the middle of traffic, didn't pull him over. Yeah, at the stop sign. Gun there, out. There was no red, badge. There was red and blue lights out there. No badge, not no. even identification. No just, ID. hey, what are you doing, man? Right. Didn't even open with, <laughs> I'm the police. Yeah. There's a video that I know you've watched of a motorcyclist who gets rolled up on by an out of uniform person who claims to be a sheriff's deputy. And I, I think we need to talk about it. Turns this. out he was a sheriff's deputy. And, and uh, uh, let's look at a little clip. How you doing? Oh, what are you, what are you doing? doing? To me? What do you mean? What am I doing? You what are you? Hi, why do you have a gun on me? I'm unarmed. I'm an unarmed. I'm an unarmed. I will pull I over. Care. I'm unarmed. Take your ID right now. I'm, I'm going to take your ID out. You move this bike. I'm going to dump you. I'm going to put my my bike down. I'm going to put it. I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to get off. Okay? Is that all right? Can I take my helmet off? I can't hear you very well, sir. Get your ID out, please. I can't hear you very well. Can I turn my vehicle off? Then I'll take it. Forward. That's my wallet. Yep. I'm What's not armed. That's what I'm more worried about. I'm sorry, you have a gun okay. drawn on me, so yeah, I'm a little right, I'm a little I'm panicked. The police. That's right. When you're driving, you're gonna place people at risk at 100 miles an hour plus on the goddamn road. May I please Absolutely. turn my vehicle off and take Absolutely. my helmet off? Absolutely. Thanks. I'm gonna. Yeah, you're good. I got your ID. I'm good now. That's what I wanted. Uh, I, in 17 years in law enforcement, never would have dreamed of making a traffic stop the way this guy made a traffic stop at a stoplight with his gun out. Holy cow that, and yeah, the guy turned out to be, uh, I believe it was King County or something like that. Um, in Seattle in the Washington area, a sheriff's deputy who was upset about this man's driving. I'll say, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and as I think the motorcyclist handled it very well, you know, hands up like, Whoa, why are you pointing your gun at me? What's going on? You know? Thank goodness he had his camera on because you notice the detective didn't have a body camera. I don't know if there was a dashboard camera, you know, rolling inside that vehicle. I've had a lot of people ask me, what, what should I do? Should I have driven away? No, don't start a high speed pursuit with this guy at this point. That's even more dangerous. Um, th this thing was just crazy from the start. I, and I'm, I'm, I'm always hesitant to comment on videos like this because I don't kick people when they're down unless I'm involved in a fight and they're trying to murder me. I don't want to stomp all over this sheriff's deputy who did something stupid. However, this is a perfect example when people talk about, like, I carry a gun to protect myself and my community. Like, okay, let's talk about protecting your community and protecting somebody who's getting carjacked. There's, I believe there's a big rig to their right Yes. In that video. And had that trucker decided, oh, that, guy's, that guy's getting bike jacked. Yeah. Yes. And opened up on this lunatic in a suit who pulled a gun on this guy on a bike. Like, that could have gone beyond horribly for everybody because it would have been, let's just say, now this didn't happen, obviously, but let's just say you're out there to defend your community. Trucker draws, shoots at guy, bike jacking the motorcyclist. Motorcyclist is getting shot because the cop, yeah, yeah. ununiformed cop who's doing traffic contacts in a sport coat is going to press the trigger because he was, I believe he was kind of bladed yeah, back he, like he this. He had at, the gun. In his retention position, gun pointed right. at, the, at the bed. Good now, trigger finger discipline though. I looked at oh, that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> okay. So you were going to protect your community. You just shot a cop and he was doing the wrong thing. But guess what? TSA agents don't like to be told that they don't know the rules. Cops don't like getting shot under any circumstances. Right. You're going to lose that one. And the guy you were trying to help probably gets shot. I strongly advise against, with some very limited exceptions, don't shoot strangers over strangers. Yeah. Until you are positive you know what's going on. And even then, if you can make it. even more show, <laughs> sure you're positive. Because yeah. this is... For all the people that I've heard say, oh, you know, it's world's getting bad, and when you see something, yeah, when you see something, it can be really tempting to want to get involved, and you see videos of people saving other people, and yeah, if you're a good person, you want to help people out. You need to know exactly what's going on before you insert yourself into that situation, and that's a perfect example of how the worst 
maybe second worst possible thing could have happened. You could have shot a cop. Cop could have shot the person you were trying to help. Congratulations. Now you're the guy who just shot a cop. Yeah. And it all, it all just completely spirals out of control based on, and you're right. Uh, don't kick a guy when he's down. This was the worst ever traffic stop. The worst ever traffic. Contact. Yeah, it's, it's way up there. I'm, I'm not <laughs> saying it was a good tra- vehicle contact. I had ever seen, um, and coming in hot yeah. in the middle of traffic, didn't pull him over yeah, at the stop sign. Gun out. There was no red, badge. Was red and blue lights out there. No badge. Yep. Not even identification. No just, ID. Hey, what are you doing, man? Right. Didn't even open with <laughs> I'm the police. Yeah. <laughs> Opened with that, pointing a gun at yeah, him. That came later. The, the I'm the police statement. And yeah. people are asking me what to do if you're this, if you're the motorcycle rider in that situation, the motorcycle rider handled it well. Yes. Um, very good that, you know, he's not going to try to disarm the cop. He's not going to try to run away. He's trying to figure this out. And I love the fact, like I said before, we got we got this on video. The video is out there to see what's going on. But the you can hear the the motorcycle rider saying over and over again, I can't hear you through my helmet. Some people don't understand that the helmet is is messing with your ears and the cop who is to my way of thinking, basically babbling, not not being clear in his communications at all. And and this motorcycle rider doesn't know what's going on. There's just a guy pointing a gun at him and then taking his wallet right. th- from anywhere else. Like you said, let's, that truck let's, driver, let's, let's that not truck make driver the, says, hey. Let's not make this vehicle <laughs> contact an armed robbery, okay? Yeah, <laughs> we're, it, it was... It was to me, I I sat in disbelief the first three times I watched the video and then I started looking for more detail and things like that. And one of the things that the the, the, the cop then said was, drive your motorcycle up over there, you know, to get it out of traffic or, or, or something to that effect. The motorcycle driver didn't even get a citation. He, he just got a good, thorough talking to. I think, and, I think were either of us to have a bad enough day that we did something like that on duty. I'm guessing anywhere from one second through about 30 seconds into it, you would realize this was a mistake. Yeah, this is, I am not writing any of this down. (laughs) I will not be issuing a citation. Yeah. How how do I get out of this? Yeah. And at At, that point, you you just want to get out of it. So that's, I assume that's why he didn't get a citation. Like really? Well, sir, I got to say, I'm going to challenge this one in court (laughs) that you rolled up on me (laughs) in no uniform, did not show your badge, did not announce yourself as a law enforcement officer, held me at gunpoint and took my wallet. Yeah. And I have it all on video. And I have it all on video. But no, it was something that, I absolutely hated to see it, and I hope we don't get to see it again. Now, before you go, if you think you're using the right caliber for self-defense, think again. And you might not even know it, but your ammo could be putting you at severe disadvantage when you pull the trigger. Click the link in the description below to watch this short, unbiased video comparing the top four self-defense calibers and see if you end up changing handguns.